How to draw noodle fins. Okay, so I'm very excited about showing you how I draw this character. And with noodle fins and pretty much all of the other characters in the book, the first thing that I start with is the eye because the eye tells me which direction the character is looking. So I start an eye by just drawing a circle and then I draw just a dot in the center and the dot is her pupil and that's going to tell you where the character is looking. Uh, after I draw the eye, I draw the top of her head and her ear and her ear is kind of like a big bowl that's right next to her head. Trust me, this is all going to make sense. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is draw her trunk. And the way I draw her trunk is that it's, um, it's kind of like a long noodley thing. Um, so I'm gonna just go like this. And then at the very end, there's sort of like this teardrop shape, and that's kind of her snout. And she's got two little holes at the end, um, much like if you were to take your nose and stretch it out really far, um, and then be able to do things like pick up food with chopsticks or make a drawing using a paintbrush. Uh, that's kind of what Noodle Fint has going on. Okay, uh, so she's got this long trunk and then we're just going to follow that same line all the way back towards her face. We're gonna stop before we reach the eye because we wanna have room to show off her tusk. She's got these nice little, little uh, tusks that are kind of like a teardrop shape or a pear shape or kind of like a cone. Um, actually, uh, all adult African elephants have tr have um, tusks. That's what ele that's what noodle fin is. I'm going to give her a little bit of a smile, and then I'm going to draw her second eye. And you should pay attention to this because her second eye is just a little half circle that's right next to her trunk. And we want to make sure that she's looking right at us, right? So the way that we do that is we make the pupil right next to that line uh, where her trunk is. And that way she's looking right at us. If it was against that or if it was in the center, she'd be looking kind of over here. So it's important that she's looking right at you. At least I want her to be looking at you. Okay, let's do the body. So her body is kind of like a big bean shape. So I just draw her body, I curve it out like that. I'm gonna stop somewhere over here because I want to draw her arm over here and her arm is what I kind of call a cheese puff shape. So it's rounded, it's kind of a bean. Do you see how it's attached to that line right over there? And I'm going to draw her other arm over here, which is also kind of a cheese puffy kind of bean thing. Okay, so we got the trunk, the eyes, the tusks, one ear. Let's draw the other ear. So the other ear kind of has to, I want it to be behind her trunk. So I just go like that, and now I'm gonna do her back. And I'm gonna leave a gap over here, let me move this drawing up a bit, because I want to be able to have space for one leg over here. Again, kind of like that cheese puff bean shape. And I'm gonna do her other leg over here. So you'll notice something that's kind of interesting is that both her eye, her ear, her arm, and her leg are all behind these lines, and that shows that that part of her body is kind of away from us, whereas this part, this arm and this leg, they don't have a line in front of them. So it just shows that her body is, that's the part of her body that's closest to us. Okay, we wanna make sure we don't forget a critical plot point, which is her belly button, which is just a, an oval or another bean with just a tick of a line right there. She also has three hairs on the top of her head, and she also has a tail with just a few lines coming off. Uh, sometimes I'll add a little bit of shadow underneath and I'll add a little bit of like, kind of like just lines, like a couple of lines to show that she's got like kind of some wrinkles and folds. I'll add a few wrinkles on her trunk. She is an elephant after all. And sometimes I'll add a couple of motion lines just to show that she's waving. And that's how you draw a noodle fin.